All right, so I mounted it up already. Uh, I said that earlier in my previous video, I was gonna put it on video, but it's so, so simple, I don't think it needs a video. So basically the bracket that, that comes with, this bracket here, mounts to where the, uh, the foot peg, passenger foot peg is. Now I don't have my foot pegs on here, but as you know, it, it, comes, it comes with these two bolts. Uh, if you have the, uh, the uh, FZ or MT09 or XSR, you could use the Olin's bolt that they give you. If you have the FJ09 or or the uh, what do they call it in Europe, I think the F uh, the tracer in Europe, the 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 mounting bolt's a little bit different, so it needs a longer one. So you actually have to use a stock bolt. Anyways, I, I'm using the Olin's bolt uh, because I don't I don't have to pass in pegs. And this is how I ran the line. Basically, you know, the line just comes from 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 the bottom here, All right? The lines, uh, and you see the braided line here and the, this black line here. That's that just basically just comes down, comes down, and it and it comes alongside right here where the shock is, right? And how I have it mounted, it's like this. I try different ways. You know, it's uh, I mean these lines that they made is like just just enough. You know, it's just exactly fit basically. Uh, and I have the this preload line coming down uh, I tried going above here but that's a bad idea because this this edge here on this bracket over time the vibration will this edge will cut into your your line so I put it down on the bottom here so that way it won't cut um, and that's basically how I mounted so it's everything's a pretty tight fit so, so that's how it looks so here's the preload you know, right real easy real fast that's not this you know I don't think it's really necessary uh, um, but uh, but it's nice, you know. You don't have to reach down in, you know, in some hard to reach spot um, to adjust preload. Uh, but really, the preload is, you know, it's kind of a one-time adjustment. Once you have it, you don't really have to really touch it again. So I would have rather have the preload on the shock body instead and do it that one time only, and have the compression and the rebound out here versus the rebound being here. I mean, this is not difficult to reach to get to, but you still have to reach to it and it's probably more dirty than it is up here so so uh you know, up here you could uh, pretty much do it on the fly while you're riding almost you know because this is where your leg is right you put peg right here um so you could you know you could probably do it on the fly but but that you can't you know so so anyways so there it is uh all together that's how it looks so it looks pretty good how about the Olins? I'm a big fan of Olins. They make they really do make the best suspension in you know in the bike business. For sure. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching.